question, is Elvis alive? Did he fake his own death? I'm intrigued. I, I can't believe that you've hit upon such an interesting subject. Yeah, no, she called my grandma. My grandma wants us to solve a mystery for her. You think we could help my grandma? Dad died. He just married them again. They're mine now. Yeah, he inherited his dad's pussies. <laughs> Ooh, you know, there's, there's got to be a word for that. It is. I'll it's disgusting. Keep, I'll keep thinking. I'll keep thinking. Slo- sloppy seconds, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's got to be a more Mormon specific. They have to be involved. able to write about it. All right. If they can't write about it in the Book of Mormon, what's the point? What? I'm going to call it a fluster cuck instead of a, a clusterfuck. <laughs> fluster because it kind of just like comes up on you and happens and, and you're like watching it, but then you also become a part of it. That works because he did posthumously cuck his father. So like yeah, 17 times over <laughs> or 60 or whatever. I would describe that as a fluster cuck. <laughs> Donald Trump, or, or, any president really would be that level of fame, but that's crazy that you have to become president to get that kind of fame now. You know, like. Yeah, and yeah. I would bet that he will die on the shitter too. Yeah, probably, uh, one can only yeah, hope. You're yeah. probably right. Let's make that soon. Um, yeah. Let's make that. Are we gonna do a verified death threat on a on an ex US president on this podcast? <laughs> you excusing racism? Yes, that makes complete sense. <laughs> I'm not excusing yeah. racism. Show, by a show of hands, who who thought uh, Richard would try to make this okay? <laughs> yep, yeah, that's what I thought. I Oops. went into this. Yeah. I went into this being like super racist, but there's super lots of people that say if it wasn't for Elvis. Wait, did you say you went into this being super racist? I also oh, heard this that. Is, thinking this is going to be super racist. You I skipped the word. Where you said that you went into this <laughs> super racist. Okay, whatever. That's what I meant for sure. Elvis goes on the Steve Allen show, where Allen and Elvis make fun of the whole scandal by getting Elvis to come on the show in a tuxedo. And then he sings Hound Dog without the hip gyrations to a basset hound wearing a top hat. Shit about him, but the fact that this dog <laughs> is wearing a top hat, I see why he blew up. So September 9th, 1956 was his first appearance on Ed Sullivan. Uh, 60 million viewers watched as Elvis did what Sullivan said he would never do, be a guest on Ed Sullivan. 60 million of viewers at the time was 82.6% of the viewing audience. In March of that year, Elvis bought his 18-room mansion, which is named Graceland. So when you get a house that big, do you have to name it? Is that a thing? Is it like a ship? I didn't know that. It's named Graceland. Who names the house? Who doesn't name their house, dude? I mean, like, my house is nowhere near that big, so it doesn't get that big of a name. But I still love David all the same. (laughs) 